In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change the name servers on HostGator. Now, it's really easy to do, just watch the video and I'll teach you everything you need to know. If you haven't already purchased a domain through here, then go ahead into the description, there's a link at the top. And if you click on that link, you'll get 70% off your domain. It's a really good discount and also helps out the channel. So let's get right into it now. So let's say you have purchased yourself a domain. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go into our dashboard. It looks a little bit look like this. And we're going to go over to the left hand side and go over to where it says domains. Now from here we need to make sure we've selected the domain we want to actually go ahead and edit. And in my case it's this one here. And what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And there's a section here that says advanced tools. So I'm going to go ahead and click the drop down on that there. And once I've clicked the advanced tools section, you see something here that says name servers and in brackets it says DNS. So we can go ahead on there and click manage. And it says this is what connects your domain to the internet. Basically, be careful when you are editing this. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And this is going to open the name servers section. So you can put your first name server in there and then the second one in there. And if you want to, you can add a third one just like that. Now, once you've gone ahead and changed the name servers, you can go ahead and press save. Now, there is another option here if you click on the create name servers button. This will take you to this place here. And this allows you to manage them a bit more in depth. You can, you know, change them a little bit more for different domains, all that kind of stuff. So you can also do it in here and it's the same sort of process. You enter the name server, you enter another one here that you want to replace. And it's pretty simple to do. So that's basically how you go about doing it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below that it helped you out. Thank you for watching.